welcome back to another stream and another Naraka update. We are checking out the July 18th slash July 17th Naraka update as we go into more fun stuff. And I got my my cosplay, my fairy art swimwear cosplay on Uwu. We have the Aeon Seasons Immortal War is now available. There's gonna be some fun stuff going on. We got uh, for we got Peerless Treasure, a Great Sword Legendary skin called Inferno Lion. I feel like we already reacted to that, but it wasn't open. Maybe I might be wrong. There we go. But uh, you get more Peerless uh, Choice gifts depending on how far we go up. Oh, the way from master to grandmaster to magnet which gets you the great sword legendary skin um inferno lion as well as hero badges for each of those things whoop, 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 whoop. um you get on the leaderboard if you're top 500 and it has begun uh, we also have a limited time event um echoes of chillin 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 definitely scuffing that one the silent Kyleen, transcendent and peerless, protected by sacred blood, all evil is repelled. Event duration from the 17th to August 1st. By completing daily quests, uh, players can obtain Kyleen's token memory shard and have an additional chance to obtain one of the following rewards of Tay, Spectral Silk, Peerless Treasure Choice Gift Hero Coin, a Legendary Trial Card, or Aeon Coins. There are four items which can be unlocked with the corresponding memory shards. Wait, is this for the new character, I'm assuming, then? So this is, like, unlocking stuff before the character comes out? So would that mean that the new character will come out August 1st? Am I correct in assuming that? We'll see. There we go. Um, you can claim rewards by unlocking any of the four items. Some rewards will be available after the new re uh, version is released, so stay tuned. Each day, you can help a player obtain memory shards by tapping the share button um, and consume your memory shards by doing so. However, each player can only be given one per day. So you got to pass them around and share it up. Um, yeah, we are. Uh, and then we have We Are the Champions event from July 18th to July 28th. Fight to the pinnacle collect te's team's 2023 naraka blade point j cup trios champion exclusive cosmetics from the champion forge series as your collection of these cosmetics grow you earn exclusive rewards koi ascension um during july 21st to july 27th window to claim is from the 21st to the 30th event rules the 2024 koi cup global invitational is in full swing earn jade koi by completing daily quest and koi tokens by watching or predicting matches use these items to redeem rare in-game rewards in the redeem rewards and gifts section the redeem gift page offers two tiers of gifts each requiring specified amounts of both jade koi and koi tokens for redemption all the currencies are back in action participate in streaming platforms um match watching events during koi cup finals from uh july 26th to 27th complete the quest to earn koi tokens each player can earn up to 10 per match day um which is over on twitch um and july 22nd to july 27th uh participate in match prediction events and and earn rewards as well and then new features shoe switch wait wait <laughs> Stop. Introduce the shoe switch feature on the outfit preview. You can switch shoe appearances by tapping the switch shoe button. The initial batch of cosmetics with switchable shoes include Matara's Extreme Wasteland Beauty, Viper Outfits, Serpent Sacrifice, Matron's Fetters, and Clear Eye. That'd be so sick! Wait, okay, I'm excited to check that out because, like, I think it'd be nice to swap shoes around. Like, there's no reason why the cosmetics can't be a little bit more, like, pieced together with each other. But then also, I'm sure it takes a lot of time to, like, slowly make that possible. You know what I, you know what I mean? So we'll have to see what that means. Is it, like, it has options? For those outfits, or can you just like swap them with other outfits? Uh, we'll, we'll have to check it out. I would honestly give us more grappling hooks, dang nabbit. 
Okay, Matari, um, the skill flash thrust can now be interrupted with jump, crouch, and dodge during the thrust. When the ultimate is activated, the skill flash thrust can now interrupt golden focus instead of blue by tapping the cast button. Optimize the sound and visual effects when a flash thrust is fully charged and adjusted the usage of flash uh, move of the ultimate and vi uh, visible assassin restore to four times in trios mode and three times in duos mode and increase the ultimate duration from 26 seconds to 30. Optimize the camera angle when using the flash uh, move of the invisible assassin restore so the camera now aligns with the character's facing direction. For weapon adjustments, we have unified adjustments for melee weapons, unified the height of the grappling strike for all weapon uh, melee weapons, and then fist blades is getting some uh, changes. The attack range of its charge horizontal strikes has been slightly increased. The timing to interrupt the third stage of both both its horizontal and vertical stripes has been slightly brought forward. The timing to strike after its charged vertical strikes has been slightly brought forward and optimize the sound effect for the wild sweep. Optimize the animation uh, for charged horizontal and vertical strikes when sprinting. For soul jade adjustments, um, fist bayed soul jades, that's a tongue twister for whatever reason. Increase the attack range of Cloud Weaver, reduce the damage multiplier from these to these. There's your nerd stats, you can check them out yourself in the game adjustments. Mechanism adjustment, optimize the wishing well when you throw in a weapon. You will get a weapon armor or soul jade of random qua- I thought that they guaranteed gold for gold. Did they go back on that? <laughs> Random quality? That's like such a... Like, why is there no notes on that? That's like... That was... Like... Am I... Because before they made it so that like... If you put a gold thing in, you get a gold. If you get a purple, you get a purple. And that like... It's like melee as it turns into melee armor. Like... Or like... Uh, did they change that? back dude why would i i guess he got oh, too op because that's how it used to be i thought there was rates though for like if you get gold your rates for all these if you put in purple they're the rates and if you put in you know what would be funny imagine if you know how they only have, like, the red longsword or they have, like, certain jades and stuff? Imagine if, like, there was, like, an Easter egg that if you take that red weapon to a wishing well, then you can change it into other weapons, too, and it's red. But that's the only way to do it. Or the armor, like, it could randomly turn into something or you destroy it. That'd be kind of funny, right? Okay, anyway. I don't know. Optimize the sound effect trigger for the grappling hook and when it hits different things. Optimize some ambient sound effects in the new map. Uh, Predoria, remove the health reduction effect from the carnivorous yams. Why? It's not that much. I like, I like that. I like that. I don't, I don't know. Increase the number of items available in Fortune Land. Um, In-game adjustments slightly increase the number of stashes at medium-sized resource points in the Moro style. Give us more stash skins and grapple skins. That's what I want. And give us more skins for the Flamebringer and the Blood Ripper and the freaking whatever swarm. Though, like, why should I use those when they look like butt cheeks? And I never see them. I want them to look god tier if I drop one. I want to be flaming magical purple, purple fart flames at everybody, okay? Anyway, sorry. Out of game adjustments. New features for custom rooms. Martial artist solo. We have hair dyeing adjustments. After the update, when the customization code is generated, it'll save both the face and hair data after the update players can generate a customization code of the hair dyeing codes generate here will include both oh so you oh so you can give it to people to do it when you send the code you'll import the data chamber scoreboards you can receive the title when you've logged in enough okay client optimization pc xbox direct 3d um why did I have a brain fart? I don't know why, but I wanted to read that as I too, and it's 12. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, added VRS optimization settings to improve performance during special effect rendering. Um, Xbox improved the speed of shadow rendering. Xbox optimizes skin per, uh, performance of characters. Um, for PlayStation, optimize the static scenery rendering, reducing the main thread CPU um, expenditure. Interesting. And then for the things we only care about is uh, shopping. <laughs> Okay, new packs added, zipping, exclusive pack, ethereal, glow, including legendary outfit, hairstyle, accessory, and tail, Ooh. Um, and it's on sale right now, so get it while it's spicy, new uh, Yushan Shepherd of Torrents, including outfit, hairstyle, accessory, and which are horns. Ooh, no tail though, bro. How dare you not give you, Sean, a furry tail? How dare you? I want to be a furry. Let me do it. Dang it. I've accepted it. Give him a dragon tail or something. I don't know. Anyway, newly added <laughs> Takeda exclusive pack, Wind Guardian, um, which is outfit, hairstyle, katana skin. Ooh. Yo, Takeda ain't getting no fluffy tail for you guys. I, I hate to break it to you. Shaking my head. Temi, 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 Temi. A dire omen outfit, accessory, which is a crown. We'll have to check it out. All right. Newly added dual halberds legendary skin, which is Dragon Vanquisher. We got spear legendary skin, uh, Dark Lord Scepter. These are all, oh, these are Champion Forge. So these are for the, the J Cup before, correct? Correct. Sorry if I'm wrong. Uh, um, zipping in legendary pose. Uh, um, Aether Wing, uh, Champion Forge Aether Wing. Yushan legendary pose. Champion Forge Heaven and Earth. Uh, Takeda legendary pose. Uh, Champion Forge Evil Breaker. Temi legendary pose. Champion Forge Vast View. New items in the Spectral Silk Store are newly added. Takeda legendary accessory. Feathered Victory. Da -da -da -da. And for the bugs, for the bugs, for the bugs. Here related bug fixes. Fisk an issue with Zai's ultimate web in the chain size where the direction the character was facing was not correctly adjusted during certain counter situations. Fix an issue with Matari's flash thrust that occasionally led to abnormal healing. Ooh. Weapon related bug fixes. Fix an issue where using certain moves under tree could result in abrupt interruptions. <laughs> Combat related bug fixes. Fix the issue where, uh, of incorrect animations when switching weapons under certain circumstances. Whoa! Fix the issue of miscalculating staggering duration when being hit while be getting up from the ground. That's a no no. And seed related bug fixes. Optimize and fix most map issues in Predoria. Fix an issue where players were improperly teleported to the Emperor's tomb. Yo, how does that happen? <laughs> And that was the patch notes. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Twitch channel as well as we're live for all the Naraka tea. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.